Welcome! In this video, we will be repairing a Viking Pump Q-Size 1224A ASP Series Asphalt Pump that utilizes the Opro cartridge seal. This pump has been used in a flux asphalt application and will require extensive cleanup prior to disassembly and repair. Before beginning work on a pump, please consult the appropriate technical service manual for safety information. A copy of the latest revision can be found on our website at vikingpump.com. Standard tools are required to perform this rebuild. We will be using impact drivers with a socket set, a tap set, box end wrenches, a small screwdriver, o-ring pick, cold chisel, small pry bar, hammer, hook nose spanner wrench, two pin spanner wrench, allen wrenches, ratchets, adjustable wrench, and a brass or hardwood bar, as well as thread sealant, o-ring lubricant, and a grease gun. The sealant, lubricant, and grease will need to be compatible with the asphalt application and need to withstand higher temperatures. Prior to disassembly, the pump needs to be cleared of residual asphalt. To do this, we remove the bearing housing, the pump head, and idler gear. The pump was then placed in an industrial oven overnight to melt and burn off the remaining asphalt. Once the asphalt has been cleared, we may finish disassembly. First, use a tap to clean out the jack bolt holes in the Opro cartridge seal to allow for installation of jack bolts. Next, loosen and remove the gland nuts securing the Opro cartridge seal in the bracket and remove the T-bolts. Thread the jack bolts into the tapped holes at the top and bottom of the gland and use an impact driver or wrench to help press the seal out of the bracket, alternating back and forth between jack bolts. Remove both the grease relief fitting and the grease fitting to allow for removal of the Opro cartridge seal gland. Remove the Opro cartridge seal. Remove the jack bolts. Next, using a soft headed hammer, remove the rotor and shaft. Then, remove the casing. Remove any remaining pipe plugs or grease fittings. Before moving on to reassembly, further cleanup is required. Blast clean with appropriate media to remove any remaining debris. Once the bracket, casing, head, rotor, shaft, idler, and Opro cartridge seal are completely clean, inspect each component for wear or damage. Replace any worn components. Next, remove the idler bushing using a hydraulic press. Lubricate the idler and the new bushing thoroughly. Install the new bushing in one continuous motion. Starting and stopping may crack the bushing. Repeat this procedure for replacing the bracket bushing. We can now begin reassembling the pump. First, use a tap to clean the cap screw holes in the casing. Apply anti-seize to the bracket cap screws. Apply a compatible gasket sealant to the bracket and install a new gasket. Apply sealant to both sides. Install the casing. Next, apply light oil to the casing, bracket bushing, and shaft. Install the rotor and shaft.
apply light oil to the idler pin and idler bushing. Install the idler gear. Apply a compatible gasket sealant to the casing and install a new gasket. Apply sealant to both sides. Install the head with idler gear. It is now time to replace the O-rings in the O-Pro cartridge seal. These new O-rings are rated to the high temperatures required by the asphalt application. Lubricate the O-rings and O-Pro cartridge seal gland thoroughly with O-ring lubricant or grease. Install the two smaller inner dynamic O-rings in the gland ID grooves and the single larger static O-ring in the gland OD groove. Before installing the seal, Inspect the shaft and clean any burrs from the shaft with an emery cloth to avoid damaging the O-rings during assembly. Slide the seal installation sleeve, if provided, over the shaft. The LS size pump does not use one. Lubricate the shaft and installation sleeve before installing the seal gland onto the shaft and through the bearing housing opening. The gland side with outer static O-ring must be installed onto the shaft first. Be careful not to allow the keyway or threads on the shaft to contact an O-ring. These may be taped over to ensure that O-rings aren't cut by sharp edges. The seal gland may be gently pulled into place and secured to the bracket using the bolts, washers, and nuts provided in the O-ring kit. Tighten both nuts on the gland bolts completely and ensure that the seal gland is flush against the mounting face of the pump bracket. Remove the seal installation sleeve. Using thread sealant, Install the grease fitting into the lower hole of the OPRO cartridge seal to avoid air pockets while greasing. Using a cold chisel, remove the lip seal from the bearing end cap. Remove the bearing end cap. Next, remove the second lip seal. Clean the bearing housing assembly thoroughly. Next, use a push block and hammer to tap in the first lip seal into the bearing end cap. An arbor press may also be used. Ensure that the lips are pointed toward the shaft end of the end cap. Install the second lip seal into the bearing housing with the lips pointed toward the wet end of the pump. Next, install the outer race of the bearing on the wet end side of the pump. Pack the new bearings with a compatible grease. Install the inner bearing with the tapered side pointed toward the wet end of the pump. Install the outer bearing with the tapered side pointing toward the shaft end of the pump. Install the outer race of the bearing on the shaft end of the pump. Apply a small amount of grease to the threads of the bearing end cap and install using a two-pin spanner wrench. The tapered roller bearings on these size pumps require preload to operate properly. To set the preload, tighten the end cap so that the inner races of the bearings cannot be rotated by hand. Make a mark on the inside diameter of the bearing housing and a corresponding mark on the bearing end cap. Rotate the end cap in a counterclockwise direction until the mark on the inside diameter of the bearing housing is past the mark on the end cap by the required distance. This measurement can be found in the technical service manual. Lock the end cap in place by tightening two set screws in the flange of the bearing housing. Finally, install both the inner and outer bearing spacer collars. Apply grease to the threads for the bearing housing in the bracket. Install the bearing housing. Install the lock washer and lock nut. Tighten the lock nut to the appropriate torque value. This can be found in the technical service manual. Then, bend a tang of the lock washer into a slot of the lock nut. Now set the end clearance. The technical service manual provides end clearance settings or you can contact your local Viking Pump distributor for the proper setting for your pump.
A separate video, Setting End Clearance, which provides more detail on this procedure, is available on the Viking Pump website. After setting the end clearance, tighten the bearing housing set screws and test rotation. Using a thread sealant, reinstall the grease fitting into the bracket. Using a grease gun, grease the thrust bearing assembly. Next, using an application compatible grease, grease the OPRO cartridge seal gland until grease comes out of the hole where the grease relief fitting will go. After cleaning the excess grease off the gland, use thread sealant and install the grease relief fitting into the open hole and tighten. Finally, regrease the gland until sufficient grease comes out of the grease relief fitting to ensure that all air has been purged. Rotating the shaft while greasing will help remove trapped air. Regular regreasing is required and discoloration of grease coming out of the relief fitting may be an indication that O-rings could soon need to be replaced, so having a replacement O-ring kit on hand would be recommended. Finally, grease the bracket until grease comes out of the opposite holes in the bracket. Install the remaining pipe plugs. Your Viking pump 1224A ASP series pump with an OPRO cartridge seal is fully repaired and is ready to be put back into service. Special thanks to our distributor partner JCI Industries for assisting with the production of this video. To learn more or to see other service videos, please visit our website at vikingpump.com.